What's up reef builders, Evan Montgomery coming in this week with an update of the uh, Red Sea 650 Peninsula. This is just one of many projects we've been doing in the studio to get ready for reef stock here. And this is gonna be kind of the, the showcase um, for this weekend uh, for reef stock. A um, lot of new equipment, a lot of new corals, you know, everything's doing super, super well in here. Um, a little bit of growth starting to happen and things are coloring up as well. Um, the main thing you might notice right off the bat is that we moved the Satosa was over here on this bommie and we took a rock off from over here and just completely replaced it with the Satosa and it just fits in like it's always been there. It just looks great. Um, we've got a nice little forest of Anacropora down here and some uh, uh, slime ball Anacropora up on top there as well. And new this week is this uh, big chunk of stellata in here. Uh, we picked a couple pests off of there and it fits in just beautifully as well. Last week on the other side, we glued just a tiny little nub uh, and you could barely even see it. So to have a chunk like this, that's nice and beefy, just really fills the tank in a lot. I, I love that piece. And on this side, uh, last week I spent some time gluing in a little neighborhood of some rainbow Montes over here. Um, those will all grow together uh, someday and just look really nice. And we've got some uh, sunsets here, just a couple little chips on the rocks there. And they'll do the same thing. They'll really fill in over time. Uh, a brand new squamosa clam. This guy is just a big beefy, looking really good. Uh, super happy, doesn't even react to shadows too much or anything. You know, he's just open and looking good in there. Um, big green nephthia up top is new. Um, just, just a lot of frags. Yeah, just a lot of little frags there that we've gotten going over the last uh, couple of weeks. So they'll take off. Uh, one of the main ways that we can tell that the corals are doing really well is that they're sucking the chemistry out of the water. You know, the main three things that we're keeping our eye on here on this tank are alkalinity, magnesium, and calcium. And uh, the magnesium, we really dosed hard in the beginning and got the number up. Um, and then alkalinity as well, we've been having not trouble keeping it up, but we had a little incident with the bottle running empty um, and the alkalinity just dropped real quick. So if we come over to the other side here, we can see the dosing system. And what had happened there with that, the bottle of buffer was we were using these solid black bottles, just like this one. Um, and you, there's no way other than picking it up and shaking it to really tell how much is in there. So we were just letting the tank do its thing. And uh, we did an alkalinity test and it was like 5.4 or something like that, just way too low. Um, and then we come over here and sure enough, the bottle's empty. So we replaced them with these bigger half gallon jugs down here that have a little window on the side. So you can clearly see exactly how much is left just at a glance, which is really nice. Um, we're not dosing any more magnesium at this point, just because it was 17 something a couple weeks ago. We turned that off, it dropped about a hundred points uh, over the course of a week. So it's about 16, uh, 50 right now, which is still a little elevated from where we want it. So we're just gonna let that roll for a little while and uh, go from there. We've really been uh, keeping our eye on the chemistry here. Those main three elements, magnesium, calcium, and alkalinity are what we're focusing on right now, just to get the corals off the ground and get them rocking and rolling. We have all the stuff to do uh, trace element dosing as well. Uh, we're still just kind of dipping our toe into the water and doing that. Um, you know, you'll see that in a future video down the road at some point. Um, so for now, the chemistry is doing good. And the next thing that we got this week down here is a uh, brand new Red Sea RS900 protein skimmer. And I think the coolest thing that I like about this skimmer is that on the top of the lid here, there's actually a little handle and you can rotate a squeegee around inside the neck of the skimmer. And uh, they got a little viewing window here on the cup, which is really cool. So you can see exactly how clean or how dirty it is. And and uh, I just, I've never seen, seen a skimmer with a built-in one, uh, built-in squeegee like that. You know, I've seen some motorized ones like that, but that adds a whole nother level of complexity. This is just so simple and well, you know, you don't have to clean your skimmer neck as often to keep it running at peak efficiency. And this thing's just super silent also. It's got this big air intake and uh, silencer here on the input. Um, making a nice frothy column in there. Um, easily, easy to adjust. And uh, like I said, just dead silent. And it's only been running here for a couple of days and you can see already how much gunk it's pulled out. So that's very impressive. So one thing we've really been trying to do with this tank is make sure it stays totally clean, free of algae. And if you look at the rocks in here, you really won't see 
you know, there isn't a single piece of hair algae or bryopsis or valonia or anything like that in here. And uh, especially with the hair algae, something that we've been doing to kind of keep that at bay other than dipping corals and trying to keep it out altogether is uh, adjusting the light pattern to kind of, you know, reduce the, the spectrums that really uh, promote algae growth. So we turned the whites down initially on this tank quite a bit and we're running those, you know, we were mostly running the bluer spectrum. Um, but now that it's kind of settled in, things are starting to take off a little bit. We increased the whites a little bit. So we've got this tablet here and we can set the uh, custom channels, the levels for each channel on here for this acro optics fixture. And it does have a touch screen on the fixture itself um, for quick setting, you know, if we're here late at night and we just want to set it on a, a real blue setting to look at or something like that. Um, but the main programming is done through the app here on this tablet. Um, and what we've done this week is go ahead and increase everything about 20% again. So uh, just more and more light in here as things start to grow and uh, hopefully these corals will use that light and uh, continue to do very well. So kind of the last critical part that we've had to add to this tank as things start to grow, you know, it's not only the corals growing, but we are getting a tiny bit of uh, funk growing on the glass itself. So we've got a new uh, Tunzi Strong cleaning magnet here. And this thing is just awesome. It's virtually impossible to scratch the glass. You can get all the way up, you can get the calcium deposits at the top of the water line, and you can bring it all the way down and get all the way down along the silicone and just get every single spec. If it wasn't for this thing, I think the side of the tank would look much like the bottom of the tank does right now. So this is a very critical part and we run this around the tank every couple of days here and uh, keep it looking crystal clear. It's just been a pleasure working on this tank down here the, over the last couple weeks here with Jake. Um, this tank really is a model for what we want to accomplish here in the Reef Builder Studio. And if it's any indication of what's to come, I'm really excited. You know, we've got a really, Nice, interesting selection of corals in here, mostly Montiporas in this tank, but you know, every tank here at the studio is gonna be something a little bit different. But now that this thing is kind of rolling, you know, we're kind of switching gears, thinking about reef stock more and more. Uh, it's coming up next weekend. So if you're in the Denver area, by all means, I could, I couldn't imagine missing it. It's just, if you have a saltwater aquarium, get down there, start learning, get some frags, look at some equipment, buy some raffle tickets. You know, it's just such a good weekend. Um, have a few drinks with your friends. We'll both be there. We'll both be there. <laughs> um, come meet me, come meet Jake. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun time. If you have questions, comments, drop us a line down below in the comments. Uh, shoot us a, a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you really like it. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.